So hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial uh, how to scrape your Reddit. Today we're going to see how we can scrape Reddit with um, Scrapy. This is going to be a super simple tutorial which will get you through a lot of concepts in very quick time hopefully. Um, and uh, so that you don't get confused, you get a huge boost if you've never used Scrapy before on a very tough site to actually scrape. Let me see why in a moment. So here we're gonna do that now. Okay, so let's just this is the starting code I've just already put in because I was doing a Yelp tutorial earlier. I don't think we need beautiful soup, so I'm just gonna import Scrapy. If you don't install Scrapy, install it's pretty simple to install. Go to the Scrapy site, a um, couple of lines, and you should be able to install it. So I'm assuming you've done that, and once you've done that, um Put this code in a folder and uh, uh, open open reddit first so I'm go to reddit.com and i'm going to go to the programming reddit all right so log out of all systems no account nothing so that you have a very clean uh, because you might have some sort of template and all that uh, because of uh, how you customized it when you logged in so the css classes might change so being out of logging is very important and let's pick an interesting Reddit, I would like programming. Mm -hmm. There you go. And can we now get the headlines from this and maybe the links? Um, and let's see if we can get. Um, actually, why don't we get the the titles and the sort of the number of votes that they have and maybe the number of comments. Let's see what we can pull off very quickly here. Okay, so that's the thing. So, okay, so let's just get started. Import Scrapy. Um, and what we need is a, a quick spider, which can sort of go through it. All we need is really one URL here. So I'm gonna just show you how to use Scrape to create your own spider. Here we go. So inherit um, a class called Scrapy.spider. Uh, um uh, it allows for that and so the way you do it is you create your own class call it something i'll call it uh, reddit scraper spider right uh and i'm gonna call scrapy dot spider all right and you need to give it a name, so I'm going to call it, um, I think the same thing, Reddit Scraper. Then I'm going to, I'm going to obsessive there. Uh, so we need to provide a start URL, that's all you need to do. You don't need to call any fetch function, nothing. It assumes um, if you just fill up the start uh, URLs array with whatever it is that you you want i would say now let's just put the start url over here you can put multiple but we are just going to put programming subreddit for now there you go. <clears throat> we might run into some challenges with robots.txt because of the way scrapy works so we're going to handle it run at runtime it's going to be fun okay so what's happened here is we just told scrapy to create a spider and call it this and use this and start spidering all right so it will get the contents for us put it in a variable and going to wait for us to actually try to look for a function called parse so we need to define a function called parse which is the default you can change this of course but this is the default function it looks for and it will pass you a self object as well as a response um, object typically and now you can do whatever you want with the response object all right um, so we're gonna go straight in and try and let's kind of get the name title um, of each of these stories so I'm going to inspect uh, the what I'm looking for here is the CSS class that makes sense for me to um, call. Okay, so you will see that there is some 
um, the, the history class over here straight away. Actually, you can even call this if I want to. What does that make sense at this point? Um, even the ahref of this is useful to call. And they all point to that. So I'm going to see what is the most optimal one to call if there's any meaningful name to it. Uh, if not, I'm just going to go with this one. So I'm just going to get the the class for the H3 H3 tag. I'm just going to put it there. That's the class, as you can see. And then I'm going to use the response.css right and uh, function uh, which is, is an extract function based on the CSS selectors so I'll just show, type it in and show it to you okay um, and we're going to pass it into an array which will hold all of these uh, all the things that it extracts okay so we're going to call it titles I guess and then we're going to use the response object for the CSS so now here, if you use jQuery, it's as simple as basically it's a CSS selector in like in jQuery, right? So if you put a dot, you're calling the class name. If you put a, for example, this, you're calling the ID of a division or whatever it is that you want to call. You can do all the things that you can do in jQuery to select any object um, um, using a CSS selector in jQuery. You can do that all here. So here, of course, we're going to use because it's the class name. So I'm going to take this out of here and put that there. And hopefully that will give us. Um, and we need the text of it because this is this is the um, this is the class um, for the href. So I'm going to call it text. Of it. And then I'm going to call the extract function. Let that extract it. All right. So let's do one more. Let's see if while we're at this, let's see if we can get the number of comments that are there on this. Okay. So I'm going to right click inspect. There you go. The inspector shows a pretty simple direct. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Put that there. Just let's just copy paste this. Big on copy pasting. Uh, control X. Put that there. Replace that class with this. Let's keep the text and see what happens. All right. So now this is all will go into let's say comments. All right. Uh, okay. Let's just save this as Reddit.py. Okay. Let's just save the file. And now we got all of these in two different arrays. We need to match them together. Uh, otherwise, they'll be separate ones. So the first item of titles should match with the first item of comments. And hopefully, if they all match, then you, you can sort of build a dictionary together. Okay. So let's try and do that now. So what I'm going to do is run through them using a zip command in Python for let's say you want to extract item in zip of um, titles I would say and comments right so we got each of these items so let's just say all of these items together is the dictionary that I want to create where I merge these two into one right so I'm gonna create like that and I call that title and inside the title, not titles, I want the, from the item, we know in item, there will be the, the first one will, will contain the title, okay, the first object. So that will be zero. And in this case, the comment will be item of one. All right, I think this will build that dictionary now. And where both of these values, which are separate in these two separate arrays, will come together in. So that's easy for us to then 
print or export or do whatever you want to do with it. Hmm. Yes. So I think then I'm thinking through this a little bit. All right, I think all we need to now do is yield it, right? Yield it back to uh, Scrappy. So I'm going to go um, yield all items. Yes. And Scrappy has a debug function which prints all of these things anyway. So I'm going to just save it and let me just run it quickly. So if I go here, I'll just call it the way to run it is called Scrappy. I'll run Spider. As simple as that and reddit dot all right what happened there invalid syntax for all items oops sorry all items equals That's the debug information from Scrappy. Here we go. It's got us some results. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that the infinite loop, that wasn't a holy bug story. That's the title and 26 comments. Do you see that? That's not so bad. <laughs> Here we go. I think we got the data, guys. That was quick. <clears throat> as simple as that. Okay, but it's not very visible to me. So what I'm going to do is try and use the output command in Scrappy. It's as simple as that and make it a CSV. How about that? All right, so I'm going to use this output command and I'm going to call it reddit.csv. Okay, so this, all this will, will tell you that it's going to be yeah, stored CSV feed eight items in Reddit.csv. So let's just open that. Okay, here you go. Reddit.csv is created. I'm just going to pull that. So cool. 26 comments, the infinite loop that wasn't. <laughs> there you go. And So there you go. We have managed to extract the text as well as we understood how to create a spider. We understood how to interrupt the pass, pass function and take the response and use the CSS selectors to extract text uh, of whatever it classes that we want and then pull all of these together into one single dictionary and print that dictionary as well as export that dictionary to a CSS field. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. There will be one challenge though at the end of it is that Reddit, I was expecting it to block me already because I've been playing around with this uh, for other tutorials through the day, uh, but it hasn't. But if it does, what you need to do is use a rotating proxy service and we have one for that, which I am the founder of Proxys API, which is this. If you ever want to use this, it's free, no questions asked for 1000 um, API calls. I'm sorry to tell you this, I feel bad about that, but hey, why not, isn't it? Uh, because these are problems that you will face. Um, do use it, it's free. Um, you ha we have the choice of other services, of course. Uh, all you got to do is call the API endpoint like this, you put your API key, which you will get the moment you sign up without any credit card and then call the URL here. So the URL inside your code changes that instead of going to directly to Reddit programming, you're gonna put Reddit programming as a parameter for me to send you back. So we use a million plus proxies to uh, route your data. You will never really get blocked using this. We automatically retry as well till you get your data anyway and you won't even know it and super fast and super concurrent. You can build all sorts of things, highly scalable. Hundreds of our customers use it to get millions and millions of uh, URLs almost every single day. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Uh, check out more of our tutorials or visit perfectsafi.com for more blog posts and stuff like that. Thank you.